Hi guys, this is the right time for us to know if the product is legit or not or if the UPC, UPC again, that the numbers or the series of numbers below the barcode, if the UPC is correct or not, we would know this time how to verify if the UPC is right. But let's have some consideration, uh, considerations we have here. UPC has 12 digits, which are X sub 1, X sub 2, X sub 3, X sub 4, and so on. Yes, those subscripts would be the positions of the X's or the numbers that we have in the UPC, right? Note that we have, other than 12, we have 13 digit as the UPC mostly nowadays. We'll be discussing on how to do that later on, but for now, let's stick to 12 digits first, all right? So um, let's have some notes here to consider. So um, here, we have the algorithm 3x sub 1 plus x sub 2 plus 3x sub 3 and so on. And it says that the sum of the digits here should be congruent to 0 modulo 10. That's right. The three lines there is being read as is congruent to and this is actually based on modular arithmetic i'll be having a separate video about modular arithmetic but for now for layman's explanation it just means that the sum of the the sum of the left, left side should just be divisible by 10. again it just means that the sum of the left side should just be divisible by 10. If it happens that the sum is not divisible by 10, then automatically the UPC is invalid, all right? Now, notice as well that we have multiplier three. And where will we have the multiplier three? Observe that we only multiply three to numbers on the odd positions. Yeah, we have there three x sub one, three x sub three, so meaning we are to multiply 3 to 1st, 3rd, 5th, 7th, 9th, 11th digits. But as for numbers on the even positions, we just have to add them as is. Alright? So again, we have to add everything but with the consideration that we are to multiply first 3 to the, num to the numbers on the odd positions. Alright? So let's apply that to some examples that we have here. Let's have the first example, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0, 0. Yes, it looks, it looks not legit because we are having a number, I mean, a series of numbers with order, with the correct increasing order of 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. But let's see if it's valid or not. Now, this solution would come handy for visual learners because it will write here um five one two three four five six seven eight nine zero and zero here yeah as i mentioned for visual learners you may definitely um highlight those numbers on the odd position so that you would know right away if you i um, mean the numbers you, you would identify right away the numbers that you need to multiply by three so let's have that um first number here is five so let's highlight that third position would be two and it will just be easy because we'll have alternating numbers so you know to as you know the numbers to highlight then that would be this 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 and this the first, third, fifth, seventh, ninth, and eleventh numbers. Now, what will we do with this odd number? It says that we are to multiply these numbers. Each of them should be multiplied by three. Now, in our in our algorithm earlier, that's entirely one line there, three x sub one plus x sub two and so on. So it means something like um in our example that should be like three uh yeah that would be three times the five earlier plus the second number plus three times um our third number and so on but yeah this could be one of the ways to solve this but i'll be giving you 
um, an efficient way to do this. We may separate the odd positions or the numbers on the odd positions so that it's efficient. It's, it's, it's faster rather than having one line and, you know, um, getting the product for, for the odd positions, then adding again to even positions. Now, we can just separate them. So, let's have that one here. Okay, so let's have the solution here. It says that we are to multiply 3 to the odd position, numbers on the odd positions. That would be the numbers 5, 2, 4, 6, 8, and 0. You might ask, how come I'm doing this? Why not the 3 times 5, the 3 times 2, 3 times 4, and so on? Thanks to algebra, this is still fine for us because of distributive property, right? That's the same thing as 3 plus 5 plus 3 plus 2 plus 3, four, three times 4. See? Many ways to kill a cat. Oh, I'm sorry, cat. <laughs> okay, so let's have that one there. So in that case, uh, that's why I told you it's efficient because we're... Yes, we're dealing with small numbers, we're dealing with, with, with lesser numbers to be added. So you can do it manually like 5 plus 2, 7 plus 4, 11 plus, uh, plus 6 and so on. But aside from being efficient, we need to be effective. So to double check or to be sure that we're, we're calculating the right numbers there. So let's add first those numbers in parentheses. Haha. <laughs> But yeah, for those math jigs, why not do it manually, guys? So let's have 5 plus 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 plus 0. Yes, you may not write or add 0 because, you know, the sum would just be the same. But for the benefit of others who need to see all the, position, the numbers in the positions, why not? So plus 0 or plus as is. Yeah, there. The answer is 25. So the answer... Or the sum inside the parenthesis would be 25, but it has to be multiplied by 3. So, of course, the answer is 75 there. So, this would be equals 75. That would be for odd positions. Next, let's add, let's add that to... Oh, let's label this as our odd positions. Let's add that to even position numbers on the even positions. Okay, that would be the numbers which were not highlighted. That's 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9. And again, you may not include 0, but for the benefit of others, I'll be writing that down still there. Okay, so for those who are fast enough to add, add them again right away. I'll be doing here. Um, I'll be using calculator 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 plus 0. That would give us 25. Notice that these numbers right here should be added because of the algorithm that we had earlier. And when we add this to one right here, partial sum. This partial sum would give us a total sum of 100. And again, just like we're basing from our algorithm, it says that the sum should be divisible by 10. Clearly, 100 here is divisible by 10. So we may now write here... Um, mm -hmm, here. We may now write here... 100 is congruent to 0 modulo 10 because, yes, 100 is divisible by 10. Therefore, the code or the UPC is valid. Easy. That's how you just, that's how, that's how you check UPC. So, in the event, again, that the sum, say, 95, is not divisible by 10, automatically just have the crash it out and say 95 is not congruent to um, 
0 mod 10, therefore the code is invalid. Okay, so let's have the other example. Oh no, let's have the next two examples here as an exercise. For those who want to check if they understood this right, um, you may try to do the next two no, the next two you pieces there and let me know your answers and um, I'll verify if your solution is correct all right so um, for the next videos guys I'll be having some some algorithms as well we can have ISBN we can have credit cards with us ISSN um, see you in my next videos including modular arithmetic. Thank you guys.